Hey guys, it's your girl Ari and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will be showing you how I do my non-dominant hand. And y'all know I always use my Jealous Pierce Bond. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I use my No Lift Primer. So, it's been a while. Like I just said probably in the last video, but I'm telling y'all. Your girl be super busy. Not even super busy, but like super busy. And then like I had to go through and delete all like most of my old pictures so I could be able to record. So I'm just now able to upload videos. It, I could not upload for, it took me three days to delete so much stuff. Like it wouldn't even let me put no video together. That's how much stuff I had on my phone. And I did upgrade my storage again. But yeah, so I go in with my Jealous pH Bond. Then y'all see me applying my No Lift Primer. And this will be a pink ombre that I will be showing you guys. And I do prep and prime my nails i didn't do it in this video because i already done it but there is pretty previous videos down below that i always link as well as the materials i use or the products i use down below but i'm gonna let y'all finish watching So I showed y'all my Mia Secret nude, and this is, of course, my UNI clear, crystal clear, I'm about to show y'all. And I had already missed the number of the pink, but UNI does not have a name for their acrylics. It's numbers. But this pink, I'm so happy I got this pink because this pink is not transparent, and it was good for this ombre. When I say this ombre turned out so good, like, y'all just y'all y'all will see. But this pink, I had to go in and apply it a little bit, like, a little bit more because, I, like I said, like, this is my first time using it. So, I didn't know how it would lay. So, yeah. And y'all know, I always put a thin layer of clear acrylic down before I start any process whatsoever. Unless I'm doing a bling nail and of course I'll go in and I'll complete the nail before doing each one individually then going back. So yeah, I have to keep reminding myself to do that. But yeah, like I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much and I'm so used to like posting videos every three days and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I know they probably get tired of me, but I see I have gained some more su subscribers and I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. And yeah, like, so I have this video and it finally let me upload one more video. So I'm going to try not, I'm going to try to upload this video and then try to do another video maybe tomorrow and see. But like, I don't know why all of a sudden that my phone won't let me record. It won't let me upload. It won't let me edit videos. Like it took me three days. So I had to delete, I think at least like 4,000 pictures and videos and like go through and delete files and stuff like yeah so i have a lot but i'm gonna let y'all finish watching So yes, this pink, look at that, look at that pink. Just watch, like, this pink was so pretty, like, I didn't think it was, I had to go in, that's why I said, like, I went in and added a little bit more, but I didn't really need to, I should just, like, let it, let a little bit of liquid out with my brush and then applied it, but that pink, I can't wait till I do a whole pink nail, like, this pink is gorgeous, and it's the bomb with the ombre, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know. But I guess y'all love my ombres or just, I don't know. But all I'm, I'm telling y'all, like, that's why I'm like, I'm searching through, like, I need people to want ombres because my people is loving ombres. And I appreciate y'all. That must be the, mean to me that I'm doing a good job. But yeah. But yeah, like, just going in with your 1B. And I try to use two beads with my ombres. Like, one is going to be, like, make it a little bit thicker. Sometimes you don't have to. But this one, like, I used to because it was a little bit 
uh, lighter towards the bottom, so I went in and added a little bit more color, but, like, I wasn't nervous about this. Like, I was just, like, I was surprised about the color. Like, I was like, dang, I didn't think it was going to be that bright like how it is, but I'm going to let y'all finish watching.
so y'all know like always i use my mia secret cover nude blush the only go-to i use for any ombre like this i haven't found a pink for ombre yet but my nude is my go-to and yeah so back to me not being able to post i had no idea what was going on with youtube but it took forever for me to try to upload like i had to restart it i restarted it several times still didn't work i had to contact youtube and finally they got it to work so i have no idea what happened but as always i always apply a thin layer of nude for my ombre that way i could blend it in and make the perfect ombre because like i would always say i don't like using big beads for my ombres i use small beads that way i can control my ombres but yeah i'm gonna let y'all finish watching
the shaping in the file rate. So I always use an 8080 grit nail file and I season it. So I'll take another nail file and I go along the side of the nail file I'm going to be using on myself or the client. That way you don't cut and you just go along and you just reshape. Like I always, always say, and I feel like I'm repetitive, but I'm always, always say this. If you apply your acrylic application correct and smoothly, you won't have to worry about continuous styling. Like spending a whole bunch of time filing because you already didn't mess up your shape. Basically just going in and just clean your shape. That's it. So if you may have like a little bit of acrylic on the side, that's it. Versus going in and trying to reshape the nail because you got a lot of acrylic on the side. That's why I say I put small beads because I could control small beads. Big beads, yeah, I probably could control big beads, but I'm not trying to try that. So, uh, yeah, so this is the way I turn my nails so I can be able to get the good file. And, like, already, look at them. They already look good. But I'm going to let y'all finish watching. my filing using my e-file well not filing but going in and cleaning up my cuticles make sure I take out well I'm not taking anything out I'm just cleaning up the cuticle area so you see you want to clean up the cuticle area how I'm doing you want to take it slow around make sure you get all that acrylic off and you just basically smooth out the nail like I said like if you apply your acrylic correctly and no bumps or lumps you won't have to worry about this. So you just basically go around slow. And like always, I leave everything that I use down below. But yeah, that's all you do. And I'm going to let y'all finish watching.
then here comes the buffing part. So I'll buff it. You want to buff out the nails. You want to make a short day smooth. That way you go in with your design or bling application or just top coat. In this case, I just added two Hello Kitty charms and that was it. I didn't do no extra because I didn't want, I like my ombre. Like I like the way it looked. So yeah. So after this, I'll go in and I'll dust my nails off. And that one I had to end up fixing. So I'll go in and dust my nails off. Spray it with 70% alcohol. Wipe it off. Then proceed. But yeah. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me through all these mess ups and me being delayed. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. So yeah. So once you're done, like I said, you just spray it, wipe it off, do your design, apply your critical oil, and you're good to go. But I'm gonna show for this one. And this is how they look. That's what I said. I only apply a little bit of charge, but look at that ombre. Baby, listen. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned for another video.